So Trump got some more terrible legal news yesterday as yet another high profile, high ranking federal judge in court declared that he is guilty and responsible and must be held accountable for what happened back in January in Washington. We've seen this before where a judge is making a ruling against one of the Trump supporters that went into the Capitol on that day. And while making that ruling, sentencing that person to jail or prison or what have you is saying Trump is guilty too. And this judge was no exception. It says a federal judge said Wednesday that those who organized a pro Trump J six rally that preceded the attack on the Capitol stoked the flames of fear and deserve to be held accountable for what they unleashed. She said their efforts deliberately stoked the flames of fear and discontent and explicitly encouraged attendees to go to the Capitol and fight for one reason and one reason only to make sure the certification of the election did not happen. And so what that judge is saying is crucially about two things. One, like the other judges before, they've said that Donald Trump and the other top ranking people around Donald Trump are guilty for what happened on that day. That in her particular courtroom on that day, one of the Trump thugs was on trial. So no one else can be convicted. But any moral sense is that the other people are guilty as well. And so Donald Trump and the Giuliani's and everybody else who were at that rally on that day are guilty of the riot that happened after. And that's the second point. They're making a direct connection between the peaceful rally and the violent riot. Often that's one of the arguments Donald Trump has tried to make both legally and morally, you know, in the media as I just wanted to have a peaceful rally and things got out of control that weren't my fault. And so what happened is some of the people went into the Capitol, but I just had and planned a peaceful rally. And what this judge is saying is there was no such thing on that day as a peaceful rally. The peaceful rally, quote unquote, was explicitly designed as the stoking of the flames for what happened directly after it. And that's terrible news for Trump. And this is bad for a couple more reasons. One, like all of these other things, judges saying this in court and lawyers for these, these rioters saying that Trump bears responsibility is going to be used against Trump in future criminal and especially civil cases against him. Judges saying, declaring in court that Trump is guilty and culpable and responsible will be used in civil cases to say to a judge or to a jury, look, these high ranking people are saying Donald Trump is responsible. His own supporters are saying that Trump is responsible. And this is yet another piece of evidence. And what's crucial here is that this judge is sending a signal that judges are about to get tougher on Trump thugs and probably Trump himself. It says here, she ultimately sentenced Peterson, the guy on trial to 30 days in jail, twice as much as prosecutors requested and $500 in restitution. Quote, no one was swept away to the Capitol. No one was carried. There may be others who bear greater responsibility and should be held accountable, but this is not their day in court. It's yours. And so what the judge is saying is ultimately, look, I don't have Trump in an orange jumpsuit in, you know, handcuffs in front of me to send to prison. Maybe she wished she did, but that's not how the system works. But on that day, this person is guilty. And you saw that there to only 30 days, but twice what prosecution was demanding. So keep that in mind. Judges are not only throwing the book at Trump supporters, but they're going harder than the prosecution wants. If you combine that with the fact that they are directly blaming Trump on the record, if he does get in court in front of a judge, he's in trouble.